Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a great way to create a, a really yummy vegetable stock at home. It's going to save you a bunch of uh, money along the way. Um, but more importantly, it's a base. Uh, stock or some kind of a, a broth is a great way to start things like soup, stews, uh, risotto, which I'm going to show you here later. Um, but really, um, all you need is a couple of fresh ingredients and, and a fresh stock pot of water um, in order to create a really great base. And you're going to notice on that right hand side, you have a um, big old stock pot that we're going to fill up with water um, and these fresh vegetables that I'm going to show you how to cut up. I'm using a chef knife today. Um, and I also want to show you too that underneath I have a cutting board that has a wet towel underneath. Now that wet towel is going to help prevent things from slipping uh, when I start my veggies. Today I've got fresh uh, potatoes uh, that we're going to cut up in quarters. I've got some celery that I'm going to show you how to cut those ribs. I have some carrots, an onion, and some dried bay leaf here that I'll show you. Now these are going to be the basic components to, to many stocks. So we're going to want to make sure that we season this stock. We're going to use both white iodized and Lowry's seasoned salt here along with some black pepper. You know, a lot of times stocks are made with um, poultry carcasses like a turkey or a chicken. But we're going to do veggie today um, just because it's super versatile. First I'm going to dice up an onion. I'm going to trim off both ends of that onion. And my job first on an onion is to get that skin off. And you're going to notice that I just want to kind of peel away that skin. And I want to expose that, the real meat of that onion along the way. I'm, I've got a bowl in front of me here uh, that I'm going to put into the compost. So any veggies that I don't use, I can just put into the compost later. Now I like to slice this like a, like a comb would be. You'll notice these little prongs of the comb that I'm cutting into the onion. And then you're going to notice I could go this way. I could slice across while on the board and fingers out of the way, obviously. But I, I don't feel like I need that. So instead, I just slice right across and I get small cuts. Now, when doing a stock, you really don't need cuts this fine. But this is really good practice for knife skills in this learning target. So I'm going to show you on the other side of that. Again, I'm creating these kind of comb fingers. And then that gives me the nice um, consistent size along the way with that onion as I slice across. And then I'm just going to add them to my stock pot, which eventually I'm going to fill almost to the top with water before I let it simmer for about two to three hours. Next up, I'm going to slice up some celery Important, obviously, to get those um, big ends cut off so we can get right to the kind of the hearts of the celery here. And I'm just going to slice across. Key, key thing about cutting, slicing, uh, you just want to keep the sizes as similar as possible. One big piece of cooking is that when you're cooking anything, uh, you definitely want to have similar cut sizes so that your food ends up timing out to be the same way whether it's meats on a grill or whether it's veggies in a soup. If you have one carrot that's larger than the other, for example, it's going to take longer to get done. And it might end up with different flavors and different textures of food. And when we're preparing a stock like this, we just want to have consistent sizes uh, along the way. So this is uh, one way to do celery. The slicing right across after you get to the hearts. I'm going to add it right into that stock where we're going to add the water here shortly. I'm going to put the rest in the compost bowl. Here's another angle on celery, a little bit closer. First time I'm going to go just one full heart. Again, showcasing that compost bowl. Slice right across. All the way through, you're going to notice that speed pick up on the video playback. And then on the second one, you're going to notice that I'm going to actually slice the, the heart or the rib of the celery into two here shortly. That'll make a little bit smaller pieces and I don't have to do a whole lot of work. I don't have to do a whole nother set of cutting. 
I can just kind of do one slice the diagonal way. Here, I'll show you that one more time. So if I cut this clean on both sides, and then I'm going to go in after I clean it, I'm going to go and slice in the middle. And I want to try to stay even. I didn't do an even job on that one. But now I'm able to cut two pieces of that rib along the way. So again, I'm going to kind of speed that up uh, to, in the spirit of saving time. So that's one way I have to do celery for this stock. Now on these potatoes, I just want to really quarter these up. When you make a stock, you could almost get away with putting baby carrots in, like I had showed you earlier, probably in full size and get away with it. Um, but this is, again, really great practice on that learning target about um, cuts, knife skills, good prep for any kind of cutting. But on these potatoes, I'm just going to quarter them up and throw them in. Um, all of these veggies have been washed. They're all fresh. So no issues there in terms of sanitization and, and cleanliness. Um, I can also do multiple carrots. If I'm going to use baby carrots, for example, I can do multiple at the same time. That'll save me some time when I'm making like a coin cut, which I'm about to do. So here's one way to do it, the long way, to be able to kind of expose it as um, you know, cutting it right in half. But on this next set, I'm just going to show you how to do uh, a quick coin cut here shortly. Uh, coin cuts are great for things like steamed carrots. So if I grab another bunch here, I can show you what that might look like. Just grabbing two at the same. Again, small coins come out as a result. You could do steamed carrots here, a little bit of butter, brown sugar, some honey. Nice way to sweeten up some carrots for a glaze that you could do real quickly. But that's just one way that you can do those uh, carrots. Here's another angle on carrots. So you can see it a little bit closer. Again, the long way. And then again here with that coin cut. You notice that my fingers are bunched together and my fingers travel backwards as my knife gets closer to them. So in terms of seasoning, mean, we would definitely want to add a couple of bay leaves, two probably at the most. You're going to take those out at the end of the boiling down or reduction process. Here I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. We're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. You know, we're missing the fats from a carcass here, like a chicken carcass. Um, and we definitely want to make up for that with bold seasonings when we're making this stock. Here's the top view of what that stock looks like before. And then as it's simmering, this is how it's going to look also. You're going to let it reduce down to two thirds let it cool off, put it in some containers for refrigeration or, or freezing.